U.S.-China rivalry has brought the future into today, and weapons that were impossible to build before have become a reality, all in a bid to destroy each other. Laser weapons and hypersonic missiles, weapons only seen in sci-fi movies, are now fitting up to be the weapons of choice in a future conflict that could destroy the world as we know it. Which weapon will come out on top? In this video, we'll find out as it could be the single greatest indicator of which country would win in the race for world dominance between the U.S. and China. The one weapon that can shoot a hypersonic missile out of the sky is the laser weapon, and the one missile that stands a chance at evading the laser weapon is the hypersonic missile. China with its hypersonic missiles and the U.S. with its laser weapons. The stage is set, the gladiators are ready, and their weapons are smoking hot. Let the games begin! After more than a decade of work and investments worth $10 billion, China's hypersonic missiles, all impressively maneuverable, have grown into the most unstoppable missiles on the planet. They are the DF-17. The conventional and nuclear-capable DF-17 is currently the face of Chinese hypersonic missile capability. The 36-foot-long, 33,000-pound hypersonic missile reaches speeds exceeding Mach 5, has a maximum altitude of 60 miles, meaning it almost reaches space, and has an impressive fuel efficiency as high as 79%, which makes it capable of an operating range as far as 1,600 miles. The DF-17 has been tested seven times and has an outstanding success rate of 100%. YJ-21 The YJ-21 is reportedly on its way to becoming the world's first ship-based hypersonic anti-ship missile. Footage from 2022 where the YJ-21 could be seen cold-launched from the vertical launch system of a $900 million Type 055 Ren High-class guided missile cruiser proves that the missile has already entered its testing phase. The missile is believed to have a maximum range of 930 miles and a top speed between Mach 6 and Mach 10. DF-27 The latest addition to China's hypersonic missile arsenal the nuclear-capable DF-27 is a missile with a maximum range between 3,000 to 5,000 miles, meaning that it can strike any target in East or Southeast Asia and large parts of the Pacific, where the U.S. could be positioned in defending Taiwan against China. According to a leaked top-secret report by the Joint Chiefs of Staff Intelligence Directorate, the missile had a successful test in February 2023. On the American side, the Pentagon spends a billion dollars a year to have laser weapons fitted on their trucks, ships, and aircraft. The result is an arsenal of laser weapons that Star Trek would be jealous of. Here they are. IFPC HEL The IFPC HEL, full name Indirect Fire Precision Capabilities High Energy Laser, is a ground vehicle system armed with a 300 kilowatt laser tasked with defeating both light and heavy threats from drones to cruise missiles to rockets. The complete system is packed full of all it takes for a laser weapon to be as lethal as advertised, including beam control, beam director, and power and thermal management subsystems. SHIELD The Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Program, or SHIELD for short, is delivering a laser weapon that can be fitted on fighter jets. The Air Force awarded the contract for S.H.I.E.L.D. in 2017 to three of the world's largest defense contractors, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin, all working together. Northrop Grumman would deliver the weapon's beam control system, Boeing would deliver the pod subsystem that holds other components, and Lockheed Martin would deliver Lance, the actual laser. Lockheed Martin received $26.3 million in funding from the Air Force for Lance and delivered the laser in February last year, 2022, five years after the company received the SHIELD contract. Lance is the smallest, lightest, high-energy laser of its power class that Lockheed Martin has built to date. Along with its sister subsystems, it also represents the most compact and capable laser weapon technologies ever delivered to the Air Force. Helios The High Energy Laser and Integrated Optical Dazzler with Surveillance, or Helios for short, 
is a 60 to 100 kilowatt high energy laser weapon also developed by Lockheed Martin, whose 40 year experience in directed energy hasn't gone unnoticed by the Navy either. Helios's development contract amounting to $150 million was issued in 2018, and by 2022 the weapon was ready for installation, testing, and trials. Helios would counter targets from over 5 miles away and scorch them to disable core components and put them out of service. But Helios is about more than just grilling targets till they crash. The weapon doubles as a dazzler and an ISR tool. But yes, it's mostly a weapon focused on grilling targets till they crash. These weapons at full potential would be the ultimate missile defense system because they work in a novel way that's different from how current traditional missile defense systems work. Air defense systems identify and track inbound weapons using sensors like radar and then use computers to calculate the remainder of the weapon's inbound flight path. With its course-determined air defense systems like America's MIM-104 Patriot, then launch a missile of their own, known as an interceptor, to fly toward a point further along the inbound weapon's flight path to intercept it. It's the same basic principle as a quarterback leading a receiver. The ball isn't thrown to where the receiver is, but rather to where the receiver will be by the time the ball gets there. This approach to missile defense has proven very effective against ballistic missiles, which do travel at hypersonic speeds, but along a fairly predictable ballistic flight path. Cruise missiles pose a different type of risk, as they fly at much lower altitudes under power, more like an aircraft or suicide drone, which makes them less predictable. However, because of their lower relative speeds, air defense systems are often capable of intercepting cruise missiles using the same arithmetic. But modern hypersonic missiles complicate matters a great deal. Rather than achieving hypersonic speeds by flying along a predictable ballistic flight path, they are able to change course unpredictably while flying at these extreme speeds. As a result, an air defense system's calculations to predict the remainder of the weapon's flight path are rendered pretty much useless, and because of the missile's high speeds, there's little to no time left to attempt a recalculation to launch another interceptor. Laser weapons solve this speed calculation inefficiency. Laser beams travel at the speed of light, therefore they match hypersonic speeds a hundred thousand times over. This cancels out the need for calculations of some future location of the incoming missile, as the laser beam can catch up quickly to it exactly where it is. But while this is all amazing in theory, there are some big problems with using lasers. Before laser weapons can be used to take down hypersonic missiles, there are some significant technological hurdles they must first overcome. These include 1. Power Output According to Pentagon assessments, power output is the first limiting factor of laser weapons. To intercept a Chinese hypersonic weapon in flight, the US would need at least a 1 megawatt laser weapon. That's over three times the power output of today's most advanced tactical laser system. But even such a laser would likely still struggle to burn through a hypersonic missile. After all, these missiles are designed to withstand temperatures in excess of 1,700 degrees inherent to hypersonic flight. In addition, the laser would have to strike a single point on the missile to burn through. Therefore, a simple rotation of the missile body could put an end to the laser's interception efforts. And to top off the frustrations, China could easily add more heat shielding to its missiles. Number 2. Line of Sight Unlike traditional interceptors, which can be launched at targets identified beyond the horizon, the very nature of lasers limits them to the line of sight, since they only travel in a straight line. This presents problems when the laser needs time to burn through a target. Hypersonic weapons like China's DF-17 may be traveling at 2 miles per second, or even faster, meaning there would be precious little time to actually destroy the weapon should it appear in the laser's line of sight for only a brief time. Number 3. Atmospheric Scattering It's easy to see a laser beam as a thin beam of energy that continues onward forever, but that's not the case at all. Water vapor, sand, salt, smoke, air pollution, and other substances found in the atmosphere can all have a scattering effect on laser beams, therefore limiting their impact on targets. 
This atmospheric turbulence is a serious problem, to the point where the Pentagon currently sees lasers as a viable weapon system only at ranges of less than a mile. And even optimistic projections for the near future still only think lasers will be viable at ranges of less than 5 miles, which is mighty insufficient when up against missiles that travel 5 miles in at most 5 seconds. Despite these limitations, it would be irresponsible to ever count a concept out. Technology has advanced far beyond anyone's wildest dreams in the last 100 years, and it'll likely do so again in the next 100 years. These laser limitations could be overcome. Maybe not now, but they could be overcome. To help achieve that, the US needs you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.